The Plantation Club's open mic night is always popular. And as arts and entertainment reporter Deb Daigle tells us, this week's feature band is also pretty popular. It was the acoustic version of Lee Totten and the Real World Band on stage at the Plantation Club. This band, born in 1992, makes music in the folk rock alternative genre. It's fun to come down and do something acoustic because we do a lot of the full band shows and it's it, full band shows are great but it's also nice to be able to bring the music down to a fundamental level uh, which is what you really get to do with an open mic with the acoustics uh, and the percussion um, it's just fun the songs stand on their own and people here really listen to the music which is kind of fun we don't always get that in some of the louder rock clubs uh, and for somebody like myself who really tries to put a lot into lyrics and into the music um, it's refreshing to have people actually listen to it every once in a while with one CD already under their belts, the boys hope to get back into the studio by February to put out another one. And where do they hope to take the band stylistically? Well, I think it's, it's always been sort of folk influenced um, with the acoustic guitars. I pretty much write everything on acoustic guitars. Um, and what we did on our first album was great, but I think it was, it was pretty poppy. And I think the direction we're moving in is to be a little bit more aggressive, more like a Tom Cochran, um, maybe a, a male Alanis Morissette. I don't think I can do the hair thing very well, but um, something a little bit more aggressive, a little edgier, but still, still sing along. I mean, I grew up on, on sing along songs, and I think that part of part of the challenge of the three and a half minute pop song is to take a pretty complex idea and be able to put it into something uh, that people will remember, tied together with some sort of a simple theme. The band's current disc is called Sleeping Alone, but Lee and his crew are also featured on a Best of Massachusetts album compiled by Daddy's Junkie Music. Deborah Daigle, Newswatch 3. And Deb says the band recently came across a DJ for the San Francisco Giants on the internet. They sent him a disc, which he liked enough to play during their games.